I'm knocking everything over. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How many of you guys saw my Instagram? La- not live, yeah. my Instagram this morning. Sorry, I was reading something. Let me add this to my cart. And pull YouTube up. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I need to post it in the group. Give this video a thumbs up on your way in, please. If you're already in, hit the X on the chat and hit the thumbs up button, please. Let me post it in the group. How's video? How's audio? Is everything good? Let me see. I feel like it's not even that much clearer the the uh, the camera. Let's see. Can I put it in 1080? No, it doesn't let me put it in 1080. Good morning. Let me see. Hey Lizette. Chris, Angela just see my shirt order. Thanks so much. Thank you for ordering, Chris. Um, few updates. The 2T, 3T, 4T are back in stock um, right now. Uh, the 5T, 6, pretty much the rest, everything else that is out of stock will be here at the end of the month. Like the 27th, 28th is when literally everything, the body suits, the gowns, the everything else that's out of stock. Um, the next shipment after that, 2T, 3T, 4T would be around the middle of May. Like all like the normal stuff again. So trying to stay in stock. Um, we will more than likely sell out of the 2T, 3T, 4T again before the next shipment comes in, but it's not going to be like as long, hopefully. <laughs> um, Ashley, I did some bleaching of shirts earlier and letting other others sit that are tie-dye. I've been busy morning, Angela. Have you, have, I've never done shirt bleaching. I've seen a lot of them and I think they're super cute. Um, I have nowhere to bleach stuff, um, but I, I wish they like sold them already bleach like that, um, because they're so cute that way. Um, I'm trying to see. Let's see. Hello from DC. Love your videos. Hi, Neffies. 2002. Like, there's some, like, that are already bleached, but, like, I want, like, the ones that, like, the center is bleached out and then it has like, all the splatters. I've seen, like, a, a bunch of tie-dye shirts, like, on SNS Active or on Alpha Broder. I've seen the tie-dye, but, like, those super bleached ones are, like, super cute. Etsy has them. Okay. I don't know why I don't think I'm an idiot. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So, yes, guys, please smash the like button. Give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Today, I don't have that many orders to work on. I have this many. This is, like, literally all my orders. So, six. <laughs> I feel like I sound like a child. That many. Um, if your video quality isn't great, if you can hit the, um, the settings. It's, like, a little gear. Then turn it up to the highest. So, 720. It makes it a bit clearer so if you have quality issues we are going to be hopefully changing up the video quality soon ish so we'll keep you guys updated with that um i've been trying to be productive today but it's been a wheel spinning kind of day well your day will get better let me put this on and turn my i put this on backwards get my USB and start designing these shirts because I haven't designed them.
Um, all right, I gotta start designing stuff. Um, where did you purchase your cutting table? Amazon. It's there's a link in the description. To it says like uh, all the supplies I get. List the items I use in my video. If you click on that link, it takes you to an entire page where you can see everything I use. All the storage, the YouTube equipment, shipping supplies, crickets, printers, everything I use to make tutus, everything. I can show you real quick what it looks like. No, Mighty Hoops are for any, multi any multi-needle machine. So don't mind my dusty, crusty computer, but... This is the link, it takes you to this, and you can click on each one, like the craft room storage, and it takes you to like everything I use that is on Amazon. Okay, let me see the comments. You wanna see my thread stand? <laughs> Listen, it's a mess, but it's cool. It is what it is. So this is a thread stand. It's from Madeira Mart. That's what it looks like. Who? And then I put those things down there, the little uh, bag fold things. Um. I used your link to buy heat press. Thank you. So yeah, every time you guys use or click on one of my links, I do get a uh, commission from it from Amazon. So if you're gonna buy anything on Amazon, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. No, the heat press I have, they don't sell it. Um, they don't sell it. Hey, Amber Bingham Bliss. Hey, Carly. Um, but yeah, the, the Stalls Fusion IQ Heat Press it is not on Amazon. You could buy it from Stalls' website, or you can buy it from Todd Eggersman. So it's up to you who you buy it from. My ear itches. You, I got free shipping on my stabilizer bags. Yay! So yes, we also have a. I have a code for uh, Mighty Hoops. Um, you get free shipping. You have to call them. Um, I could put it in the description to this video. It's in my other video. You have to call them and give them codes. Kids custom. It's valid till July 1st. Um, let me, that's free shipping. I save any dollar I can. Every $5 is a coffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> coffee addict speaking over here. All right. I'm trying to get the link for you guys and the phone number for Mighty Hoop. Boom, boom, boom. Edit the video, wrong button. Yeah, exactly. Got to save every dollar. Good morning, Lakeisha. Um, I'm over here trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to add the, the mighty hoop in the formation. Alright. Alright, so the Mighty Hoop phone number is now in the description to the video. You'd have to probably refresh the the live. So like you have to clo close out and come back in. And then you'll be able to see the Mighty Hoop phone number. And like I said, codes kids customs, free shipping to anywhere in the United States. Buenos dias, Alma. Creative mama of three. I haven't done embroidery yet. I'm a cricket creator. Hey, hey. I did start with the cricket too. Um, all right, let me start designing these shirts because I didn't. One of you guys ordered a shirt, so thank you. I don't know if you want your name out there, but I appreciate your order. She wants the young wild and three shirt, but wants the pink changed to a lighter pink. So I'm gonna do that first. Buenos dias, Lupe. Buenos dias, Lupe. Hey, Sally. Simply Sally. Simply Sally, your tie-dye shirts are bomb. Bomb.com. 
corny over here, but they are super cute. I don't do sublimation. I do, um, uh, I have direct to garment print printer. I don't have a sublimation printer. Those are just um, the ones that most people use. Um, where is my, this and the light pink, that pink. Here we go. Who else thinks like reds and pinks are the hardest colors to like match up on when you're buying stuff online? I am short. Threading the mach threading machines and being short, like it's cool though. I could be shorter, <laughs> I guess. Um, no, th I've had I don't have thread break issues with the Madeira thread. Um, the like the Coates and Clark from Joann's was one of the only threads I used before that. I had a few thread breaks. And then I've used Robinson Anton thread because um, I got it from an embroidery show. But then, like, to reorder, they were charging an arm and a leg. So I said, nope, not ordering you. So then I've been with Madeira ever since. I don't have any issues with Madeira thread. Hey, Jamie. Olga. Hi, Angela. Love everything you do. Oh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Let's, oh, sh shoot. Taki mushrooms. I can't wait till I have a place for everything to go. Because <laughs> stepping on stuff is not, it's not uh, the best. Come on. Now I feel like I'm too tall for once in my life. How do tall people do this? Because, like, your back probably hurts trying to bend all the way over. Trash can dispenser. That was a failure. Ugh. All right, so that's set up. Now I just need to reload the design. Tighten one frame. Are you talking to me? Oh, she was talking to Steph. Why is my hoop bouncing when I embroider? I feel like tension is cracked. I feel stabilized. I'm going crazy because when bouncing such creates problems. Yeah. Make sure. Do you have a multi needle machine? Or I don't know if you have a multi needle, but like the screws. Do do do. These screws need to be tight, especially like this. They should be completely tight. So make sure these are tight. If they're not tight, you'll also get like your machine will say like. What is that error it says? Like, hoop something. Some, like, it doesn't fit in the frame, something like that. So, yes. Yeah, this is polyester thread. They're Madeira, Madeira poly neon threads. Is it a single needle, uh, like a flatbed or like a single needle, like, don't come from my messing life, like that one? Oh, I just had gallbladder surgery. Glad to see your smiling face. Oh, my goodness. I wish you a quick recovery, Tina. All right, let's stop this shirt in a second. Hey, Angelique. Hey, Tammy. Do, 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 do. Let's start. I was so happy after the last live, guys, because I like I really wasn't planning on getting that many shirts done. I thought I was gonna get like just a few. I really wish they didn't have staples in here. I can't stand this. This is a setup. I hate this. Like, is there not a better way to do this than to use staples? Does anybody have any ideas why they use staples? I mean, like, to keep it all together, but like, maybe I'm just, I'm just a baby. I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Michelle, if you could put this on IG, 
I don't know how you would do that actually. Dun, dun, dun. Could I please have the shade of pink that you use on the rose case shirt? I've been watching your YouTube videos for a while. I hope to get seen being made of one of your videos. I hope you're watching. If you're not, I'm sorry. I will. I'm uh, sorry. I don't know what else to say, but I'm sorry. Um, I use the 12 by 12 inch stabilizer from All Stitch, the classic cutaway. And this cutaway, why I like it so much is it's not hard like all the other cutaway. And it's not as... Um, Cause some cutaway is like super like white. It looks like straight construction paper, but this is like, it's soft. It's woven, if that makes sense. So it's not as see-through from the front of the shirt like other cutaway stabilizers. So I really like this one. And no, I'm not sponsored by Allstitch if you're curious. Like, no, I'm not. I just actually really like it. Maybe one day though. Mighty Hoop. Um, To purchase a Mighty Hoop, I have it in the description. You can call the phone number and they will uh and give them codes kids customs and they'll give you free shipping on your mighty hoop you just have to tell them like the machine you have and everything and they'll get the right hoop for you and you tell them like what size hoop you want obviously my my granddaughter keeps asking how do you keep your area so clean with all the orders you get i don't it's not clean <laughs> that is not the case. I'd say since I started using this new system with the little envelope baggy thingies, I don't know the real word for them, these sleeve bag color coordinated in these. Since I started using these, um, I don't have fabric mess everywhere anymore, um, but it's not really clean. Hey, Embroidery Diva. Um, all right. Young Wild 3. I the else you scared me. Uh the live, like post like that I'm live on IG. Yeah. Yeah. I wish there was a way to log into mine, but I don't know how to. I don't even know the password. <laughs> um Young Wild 3. Mm -hmm. I always like it's a habit because I always do applique shirts I always have a habit to go straight to the applique step but there's no steps on <laughs> this shirt because it's straight stitching um pink is on seven all right number nope that's wrong see pay attention I straight up messed up the needles. All right. Eight gold, seven, that lighter pink, and number four for the teal. All right. Hey, Carolyn. Angel, I sublimated it on an AJ Blanks yesterday for a video using a poly coating. I'm so glad I share. I'm uploading it now. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Ooh. So I use the Hoop Master when I'm doing like adult um, items. I don't do a lot of adult items right now, but we'll be doing. I have to do like clothing line items in the future so when i start doing those i'll be using it a lot more for kid stuff i don't need it but for adult stuff it's you it's kind of almost like necessary to save time and make sure your placement is accurate every time in my opinion so the restock the 2t 3t 4t girls white puff sleeve restock sooner they're in stock now and i got them in sooner because i know everybody needs them now, everything else, like everything else I carry will be in about April 27th-ish. And I say ish because it could be the 28th, it could be the 26th, but it'll be uh, around that time frame is when it's going to be coming for everything. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Nicole, Nikki. Mm, see, I told you I was going to forget. 
Now I remember now that I see your name. I don't know why you didn't message me again. Bother me. Say, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. You said you were going to do that for me, and you didn't do it. I told y'all don't forget. Hey, Alicia. Have fun at school. Creative mama of three. I have seen many YouTubers making things with you, AJ Blanks. Yes, they're all so sweet. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, and if you are going to buy AJ Blanks, if you do use one of their affiliate links, it'll help them out as well. So, yes. I posted my first TikTok. So ridiculous. TikTok is fun and very addicting. But it's very likely to blow up your business. There's a high chance it could. You just never know. All right, let me start designing more stuff. I don't even have ambulance open. I should start with the stuff that should ship first. I have nothing that's supposed to ship today, but I wanted to go live, and I do have some orders to do, so I'm like, just do it. 3T Juliana. Thank you. Yes, I will. I don't use my single needle right now. I just, I don't have enough orders to use it, but I will be using it um, again once I amp up my Etsy shop. And like I said, I'm going to be doing more adult stuff, so it will be getting used right now. It's just it's taking a break. It's been used so, 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 so much. Like, I think it has like maybe 40 million stitches on it. And I haven't used it in a while, um, but taking a break. It needs to rest. It's on vacation. Three princess. Hey, Shamara. Hey, Jazz. My eight year old knows how to use TikTok, but not me. Yes, yeah, like Riley. Chick, you trying to get on TikTok. I'm like, you're too young for TikTok. But like, one of her little YouTube people she watches, the Rush fam, Callie Camaro. Callie is always on there. Famous two kids, that. So she goes, I want to see Callie's new TikTok. Juliana. G U L. Damn, I'm going to spell it wrong. I need to look right here. There you go. Good morning, Yolanda. Uh, that one's probably from Creative Appliques. The donut. Juliana. I should probably change out some needles today on my brother machines. It's been a minute. Juliana. So the subtitles for videos, they take, right when I post a video, they don't come up right away. It takes like an hour and then the subtitles show up for the videos, the closed captions. I think, is that the same thing or no? J, my wow, G, I don't know my own letters. G-I-U-L-I-A-N-A. Wow, I keep saying J. If Riley heard me, she'd tell me I need to go back to school. Good morning, Casey. You should change your needles. Um, it's usually whenever you notice that your stitching isn't coming out as clean. Check your needles every day before you embroider to make sure there aren't any, like, burrs on your needles, that it's not damaged, it's not, like, there's nothing wrong with it. Because 
I've done it multiple times, right? And check my needle and I go to stitch out something and there's, it's my stitching, right? There's holes. It makes holes in the shirt. So whenever they look like they're getting dull, um, it just depends on, you know, yeah. Well, no, like the captions, the captions for YouTube, like it takes a minute. Like right when I upload a video, they're not available right away. It takes like an hour. Then you can click on the captions and they show up, but right away they're not available. like it's so loud yes guys please give this video a thumbs up please 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 um good morning i get this question a lot when you start a t-shirt business do you have to keep every shirt size in stock no you don't have to um slowly build your stock um i always recommend having the most popular sizes in stock but at a certain point, you're going to want to have five of each size in stock. But in order to do that, you can, like, buy one extra the next time. Every time you place an order, order an extra one, an extra one. Um, it's happened to everybody where you order everything you need, and then, like, 10 seconds after you place an order, an order comes in for something you need to order. It always happens. It's just that's how it is. But you don't have to have every size in stock. Make sure whoever you get your shirts from, though, that they can ship quickly. That definitely helps. If you're sh the person you get your shirts from does not ship quickly, then, yes, you'll have you'll run into issues where, oh, your shirt's not there in time. Okay, your customer's mad because your order doesn't get shipped in time or, you know, you can't ship your item out because you don't have the garment you need. I recommend at least having, you know, one of every size. Um, but of your popular sizes, you want to have five. I used to, when I started, I carry like two in stock of each size, but then I had to run to Walmart to get some more, some more, some more. And then at certain point I stopped ordering online. I mean, stopped ordering, like going to the store because I'm wasting time running around, going to stores, trying to find a shirt. And it's just like, I'm wasting time doing that when I could be working and making money. So I just order stuff online. I'm designing. I don't know why I'm not showing you guys what I'm doing. That would be helpful. Let me put the camera. My crusty, dusty computer. So I'm just trying to move the letters closer together um, because sometimes it just looks weird. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And like sometimes, like the letters aren't lined up. Charlotte. Does anyone else like make up words for <laughs> for certain names so you can spell them right? Six. If you're wondering how I have my designs like this, one, I have a MacBook, but if you don't have a MacBook, you would have to download in Brilliant Thumbnailer so you can see your designs like this. Hola. What was your name? Callie girl, hello. Six princess. What is name? M E R Y E M M E R Y E M. So you see how like this is looks it just looks ugly. Um because the R is down here, nothing was lined up. So just click on the letter. One, two, three. I haven't memorized how many uh <laughs> ups and downs I need to move things, but I like my stuff to look like even all the way across. Like this doesn't even line up. That looks not cute. And, yeah, so I'm going to save this and put them on the machine. This is in Brilliance Essentials. Shayna, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I really appreciate it. Back to my face. Woo. Okay. 
Miriam. M E R Y E M. Always double check your spelling. It's the worst when you finish a shirt, you spell the name wrong. So double check first. Celeste Hernandez, thank you for my five dollar super chat, Duncan. Hey, Adisha. Adisha, every time I see your name, I think about the that jumper you bought, Roman, um, when he was a baby. That was so cute. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Like your uh, the item you bought him, it was like the great thing. We have a picture of him sticking his tongue out in it. It is it's the cutest thing ever. So I appreciate you buying that for him. I reuse my AJ bags. Linda, thank you so much for the 499 super chat. Thank you. I reuse these to package the items, so I just throw them back in um, back in here. And it makes it easier for my sister and Kena to have everything they need together. So I just send it out there and uh, they'll package everything. All right, next shirt. This machine, I'm pretty sure I have to change needles on because it's been a while. Might as well turn everything on. Let me hope we have a shirt. You are an awesome person. Thank you so much for helping all of us. Just got a five and one heat press game changer. Oh, congratulations. That's so awesome. I love when people get new equipment, machinery. It's like, it's so fun. Guys, if you can give this video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Click the X out the chat and hit the thumbs up button, please, please. Riley's good. She's she's sassy as ever. That hasn't changed. Do, do, do. guys please and if you aren't subscribed already please consider subscribing it is free and if you want to be notified every time i post a video or go live you hit the bell button next to the subscribe button and click on all notifications that way you'll get a notification on your phone when i go live like today or when i upload a video Um. Ooh, my serger people does she need a serger or not i don't know how to use one i'm not i've seen them i just don't know how really to use them let me let's see I feel like I was. I need to change it. Let me oil it. Um, oiler, oiler. Bobby. I can bring you guys over here. Alicia Cueva, thank you for the $9.99 super chat. Yes, if you're interested in a Melco EMT 16X embroidery machine, please contact Todd Eggersman. His phone number is 770-820-8002. I can't remember if I changed the needles on here or not recently. I don't know if it was this machine or this machine. I don't know where my needles are. So, 
let's see, are they here? If they're here, I'll change them. If they're not here, I won't change them. Ah, uh, thought I just saw some. Oh, this is the empty one. I don't know where I put them. Like, I have the ones that came with the machine, but I don't like these as much as the other ones. Um, we'll just use these. This gonna change. Where is the needle changer? So this one has a needle changing tool for these. And I'm gonna change the one the needles I use the most. Uh, gold. That is a fail. Need to fail somewhere. And these machines have flat back needles. It's flat on the back. There's no way you can see that. Whereas the uh, commercial machines are not flat on the back. Shoot, I'm not just change them all, whatever. That's just how I change all the needles. The other way to know if you threaded your needle or if you change the needle correctly, put it in correctly, is if it threads. Usually, whenever you change your needles, they thread almost perfectly. Like, um, they thread almost perfectly when you go to, like, hit the thread button. But, like, when it's getting a little old, they don't thread um, as easily. You got to, like, thread over, uh, over and over again. And, yes, I've forgotten to tighten my needles before fun stuff and I have had uh, the needle come right down <laughs> when I was embroidering is the embroider machine super loud because I'm like right next to it I feel like if I stop talking it's going to be super loud because it's going to pick up that sound but again I don't know turn around Nobody told you to turn the other way. Having nails definitely helps with threading. That totally is wrong. 100%. Then it makes sense how that just went in. That's not in right. That's questionable. Pretty sure I've changed this needle, but it's cool. This was a failure. I swear it's not easy to start to thread these put these needles in. Because I have an audience. I swear. I'm pretty sure I just changed that one. I'm not changing it. All right, now to have fun and you thread all the needles. Hey, Aqua Bloom. 
my bobbin always shows up on the on the top, like on the. That means your tension is too tight. If it's pulling it up to the front. this thing to unthread all the way up here no one gave me permission to do that like at all so go back to where you belong little thread See, each one of those threaded on the first try, usually it doesn't. That's how, like, you know, you put the needles in right. Oh, dang! Well, hope y'all are okay after your fall. Reese, this is for Juliana. Flash drive, where are you? I don't pre-wash my, I don't pre-wash anything. Some people do, some people don't. That's up to you. Sarah and Creations, hello. Let me. Hey, hey, Andrina. Yeah, cameraman took a break. <laughs> There's really, the only thing that I say I would have done differently is instead of getting the one needle baby lock alliance, I would have gotten multi needle. But I didn't know anything at the time. So, it is what it is. Um, this one is, I didn't make a design yet for it. What? I know the spam risk keeps calling me. Sorry, guys. Uh, yes, I taught myself to use my first multi needle. The gold that I use is sixteen seventy. Big old face in the camera. Please give this video a thumbs up. It'll recommend it to more people if you do that for me, please. Charlotte. Charlotte. I know it's not Charlotte, but um, Juliana, Charlotte, and one more. 
Because this computer is dusty and super crusty. You know, you like my, my rhyming skills. No, I switched the name. I'm an idiot. All right, let's go back and redo that. I did not say Charlotte to stitch the ooh, to stitch the name first. Yes, I still have the one needle. Hey, Tana. Yeah, I, the, I, the AirPod is what you is the microphone. Uh, I'm still working on. I want to figure out if I can use a different mic. Uh, I'll test it out soon to see if it works well with the live. I'm concerned it's gonna pick up my machines because I have so many of them. So we'll test it out in maybe the next live and see if it makes a big difference or not. If it works. Because I would wish I could just have a different mic so I have, you guys have better audio, but got to do what you got to do, I guess. When I started this, Fatima de Argentina. Sonia, hi, thank you. Stop saying name. Two to three. Two to four. Four to five. All right. Look. Hoop Charlotte's shirt. Charlotte. Hey, Juana. Hola, Zulima, Brizuela, desde Kansas City. Bye, Harmony. I have YouTube, like, what mics to use. It's just hard because no one does embroidery. Like, there aren't, like, a lot of other YouTubers who do, like, embroidery with, like, live with all the machines. So like AirPods is what everyone has found to work best. Like every YouTuber that I know uses AirPods or uh, I know a class teacher uses like a little mic, but sometimes you can still hear the machines. I don't want to blow anyone's ears out with the machines. <laughs> so I'm try I'll just test it out and see what happens. Agrego y Melco Contad, I just received it. Oh, congratulations on your Melco. That is so exciting. Throw it on that machine. Oh, it's right here. That shirt is almost done. Uh, 
I don't have an affiliate link for Allstitch. They have yet to create one. I've asked. But still waiting on them to create an affiliate link. So I don't have one. But I do recommend their products. That's what I use. Yes, whenever you buy a machine, no matter which machine it is, they should offer you training. Um, when I bought my white machines, the brothers, they um, gave me one hour of training. Um, and then I just figured the rest out myself. They showed me how to thread the machine and how to load the design. That's all they taught me. I figured the rest out myself. Their, their training was garbage. <laughs> that wasn't really training. Because they didn't know how to use it either. Because... They were an authorized seller, but they no one there knew how to use a multi-needle machine, which I'm thinking about it now is crazy, but no one knew how to use it. So that was my first machine, so I figured it all out from there. When I bought my other machine, like the multi-needles, um, they, they, they had uh, a class. I could come take classes once a week, they said, but they're in PA, so, but they actually knew how to use a machine, unlike the first place I bought it from, so... Um, you, you do get training with it. The Melcos, they come to you. They, they ha you can either do it over a Zoom call or in person. And they'll come for two days and they have like a whole, they have a whole curriculum they teach you. So they go through the basics and they teach you every single thing. And then the last day, based on what you want to do with your business, they can customize it to what, you know, you can ask them questions that you have. Or like they can focus on your business. Like let's say you want to do just hats then they could teach you a lot about just hats on the second day. But the first day, like I said, they have a whole, they literally have a whole checklist of things they want to teach you. So, so yeah. Um, what do you add to your coffee caramel? So the training comes with the Melco. So when you get the Melco, they look at this. Magnetic hoops, <laughs> pick up everything. Um, yeah, the training, the training comes with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, good companies will not sell you a machine without training because they want you to be able to use the machine. So here is, I don't know if you're on the live watching, but you ordered this shirt with the lighter pink. Here it is. It's done. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> hey, Linda from Texas. All right. Juliana. The black threads on the top, that last one, I paid $10,000 for this one. Um, but... 10,000 is the cheapest you'll ever find them. They're usually between 10,000 and 25,000. It depends on where you live and how much your dealers are going to charge you. But those are the prices for those. Um, so I have a accountant. That's why I don't do many videos about like tracking expenses, deductions, and everything because all my stuff is like automatically tracked because when you have a business, I do recommend having a separate account just for your business, whether it's just a normal business, like let's say a Bank of America, normal business Bank of America account or a Bank of America business account. Just have a separate account just for the business. That way all the business money goes into it and you see all the expenses coming out of it. That way you have an accurate idea of your business's profitability and what you're spending because when you mix it with your personal, which I did, that's why I'm speaking from experience, you don't know what's what. So separating it is definitely going to help and make things a lot clearer for you. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's why. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm over here. Like, why is my milk coat sound like it's going so fast? Like, what the heck? I was checking the speed for somebody. <laughs> somebody wanted to know how fast it went. I had it at 1,500 stitches per minute. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? All right. It makes sense now. That's funny. <sighs> okay. I do not like using these with canvas because I always cut a hole in the shirt. Um, I have not embroidered on a towel thus far. What machine is this one? Looks like my tension is a little bit off on my brother. That's the worst. I need to find my normal organ needles. So like depending on which needle you use, the stitching I've just found the best with organs, so show you in a second, but the stitching isn't as clean as I would like it. It's not bad. It's just when you're used to like, you know, top notch clean stitching, even like the smallest like difference. I just don't. Let's see, I'll show you. In a second. You probably can't even tell on camera. It's just not as clean as I would like. These are the needles that came with the brother, um, but it's good. It's good. It's just not ex excellent. I just wish I could find my regular needles. So all all the machines I get, they are every machine is finance. Beside, well, no, they're all finance. I use Synchrony. First, I use my, my husband's credit card because I don't have <laughs> I was approved for six hundred dollars when I first started, and that's not going to get me a multi needle. So I use my husband's credit card, or I use Synchrony, and then the t the other ones I bought on my husband's credit card, and then we just paid the we pay them off. So the first machine I got is not even paid off yet. I had it was six years, and I've only had it for like three. So that was it. I was like, well, 0% interest. I'll just pay it as I go um, since I have so long. I think I don't, I do double payments, but, you know, I'd rather have the capital for my other businesses. Um, and then the 10 needle is paid off. The Melcos are done. It's just that one and I guess this six needle aren't all the way paid off. So gold needles, so gold, it depends on what you're doing because to me those are more for hats. But it depends on the machine you have too. Um, uh, what was I putting on that machine? Miriam. Where is the... Thank you. 
and silver. No, I have not um, considered a professional organizer just because I'm renting, so I'm waiting until I have an actual house to do anything permanent. Oh my god. Let me I'm put my phone on do not disturb real quick so it's gonna pause the live for a second. Psych, it won't let me put it on do not disturb, so I I lied. My favorite needles are the Organ 7511 or 659, depending on which machine. I'm from Czech Republic. Hello. Hi from Tampa. Oh, thanks, Michelle, for my coffee. <laughs> Hey, Miss Parker. Um, all right. Let's start with the dinosaur shirt. File me. Seven. Shark. No, dinosaur. Blue dinosaur duckling. Hey, Avon. What are you guys up to? Um, I'm trying to get the font right. Making scrunchies for the first time. Scrunchies have become so, 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 so popular. It's crazy. It's so cool. 
that's what I've been, uh, what's this, there's a YouTuber, uh, what is her name, Taylor, is it Taylor Rose, I feel bad, I'm not saying her name wrong, right, but I watch her videos, she's in Australia, that thing. Her stuff just popped up on my YouTube one day, and I've been watching it. <laughs> I watched every single one of her videos. Like, she had an hour video. I watched the whole thing yesterday morning while I was uh, packing orders. And scissors, the pressure plate. Clean this hot mess off, please. <laughs> uh, Scared the mess out of me. Why is this? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Every tool except the one I need. This needle in backwards. I swear. I'm over putting needles in backwards. It's like super annoying. I don't know why I keep doing it. Yes, my sister still draws um, her little stickers and everything. Yeah, she's she's right there in the comments. Her name is Melly B. She makes stickers and digital art. She knows the terminology more than I do. I just know she's good at drawing. <laughs> that is all I know.
Hey, Joni, how you feeling? Um, I would, is it the brother NV? I don't know the letters, NV something. I know it's not helping you right now. <laughs> um, but it has a six by 10 hoop. I know somebody knows. Take a look at the machine. There is no code. This one. This one. And this one is just waiting on fabric. I use Just Hoods brand. Baby Lock Flourish 2. Okay. Does that have a 6x10 hoop meter? meter? That is. Yes, we do ship AJ blanks to the UK. Welcome, Shamira. Uh, what's the price difference? I recommend the multi needle over the single needle. Um, but again, it depends on the price difference. And it depends on what you want to do. Hey, so crafty teacher. Okay, this is a new design that somebody wants me to make. They ordered a mermaid but wanted it completely changed. So I need to buy the design off of Etsy and then change it. I like when people order new things. Well, most of the time. Because sometimes people order stuff that I don't even have. Like they just buy a listing. And I'm like, you can't just buy a listing and request something custom on the listing. You got to ask me first. What if I can't do it? Right. Um, let's design this one. Kate with PayPal. Hi, oh, I just got the Juke key. I can't read that. TL2010. It is really nice. It goes with my Juke key. MO1000 surgery. I want to sew little girls' dresses. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, scrunchies are making a comeback. I remember being little, having scrunchies all the time. Because they didn't hurt my head like these normal rubber bands. Well, they didn't really even have these rubber bands back in the day. They had the ones with the metal thing on it that took all my hair out. Hey, it's Julia. I said, hey, Julia. I never make a fool of you. Who knows what, what movie that's from? But Caitlin, I'm asking not the monthly cost, but the total cost. So also if you think about $200 a month, um, it's really not bad at all. That's only like selling, depends on cost, but like eight to 10 shirts a month. So as long as you push it hard, and you actually want to do it and you are going to keep going and adding new shirts every single day, $200 a month is shouldn't be an issue. I mean, again, if you don't have a business, Melko called me. Sorry. I told him I was lying. I guess he didn't. He was text message. Okay. Um, I got what I was saying. Sorry, totally don't remember. Um, 
Charlotte. <laughs> Might as well show this to you guys. So how does you don't look at your machine? But when you're lazy and don't cut your thread, this is what happens. It just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So it's not a big deal though. I just cut it and pull it out. But just want to show you guys. Drop that. I can hear that. Oh, why? My machine's gonna mess with me today. I don't sew anything. Not one thing. Only thing I've ever sewn in my life was a tutu. Besides that, nothing. So, um,. I would get a Juki just to do tutus, just because it'll be a lot quicker. Because, I mean, selling outfits on Etsy, it, you know, they make a lot of money, and they sell a lot more than just a t-shirt, because most people do want outfits. But I just don't have the time to make a tutu right now. It'll take forever. But um, if I get a Juki, it won't be a, it wouldn't be a problem. Every time I see Cassandra's tutus, I want to make tutus again. And then I think about the tutus. You know, I'm like, never mind, change my mind, but no. Um, I do want to do them again. Why do all your machines want to have thread? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Anyone else have days when their machine just wants to be like so dramatic and temperamental? It doesn't want to. Doesn't want to function. It just wants to keep having thread breaks for no reason. It's all normal. It all happens. There's days you can't stand your machine, days that have gives you no issues, but again, it's all technology and machinery, so, you know, stuff happens. Uh, the Baby Lock Flourish 2 is what Nita got. Um, that one is 1500 and then there's, like, the Brother... I need to just write this one down because I keep forgetting the name of it. Brother, like, Innovus, something like that. That is about, like, what is it, 1,200? But it has a 6 by 10 hoop. That's not good. I should have got a screen, a screen protector. Any advice on Stahl's vinyl? I use the Ultra Weed and their Glitter Flake. I don't ever recommend Cricut brand uh, vinyl. It's just not good. It peels off and it smells like straight nail polish. So at least their glitter smells like nail polish. I don't recommend it. Um, and it's expensive. And it's expensive. So. I recommend the Stalls Ultra Weed. Look at me trying. I'm trying to grab this off the table. It's it's in the bag. <laughs> uh, um, what am I missing? I feel like I'm missing whole conversations. Um. 
do do do. Hi, Omida. Hey, Shariah. Oh, mm. Yep, Sandra is the queen of tutus. I'm trying to read comments. The alliance would be 5K plus tax. And the venture would be 14. At least that's not, I paid 66 for my alliance. I got so ripped off. That machine should be about 4,000, maximum 4,500. Um, is the venture the 10 needle or the six needle? Because that should be, if it's a six needle, I wouldn't get that. It's way too expensive. Really? Why are you doing this to me? Why do you keep doing this? I don't know why it's doing this. Sometimes you just don't know why your machine doesn't want to function. It's literally, this shirt should have been done a, while, a long time ago. But the thread keeps breaking for some reason. And this is like a situation where I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna jinx myself. So let's just have the shirt finish peacefully, hopefully. Come on, it's not that difficult. Let's just finish these little stitches so we can both go on with our days. For a six needle, a good price would be like 7,000 to about, I don't know, I wouldn't pay more than like nine because I know it can go from there like, 7,000 to like 85 is like a good price, but more than that, it's like, it just depends on where you live. Like California, obviously things are just way more expensive over there, but I still just feel like it should be a, a equal price all around the playing field. It shouldn't be different. Like if anything, maybe a thousand dollar difference across the board, but not like summer 10, summer 23. Like, that doesn't even make sense. The machine cost, there's only one cost for the machine. It only costs you one thing, so why is the price different? Because for $14,000, you can get a milk cone. That's a 16 needle. And the milk cones are those machines. Versus a 6 needle. But it's up to you. All right, so we got this. Finish, finish. All right. Oh, yeah, I was thinking I started all my shirts. I still got this one. I didn't design yet. So with DTG, I always wanted to do like the converse, and I haven't had a chance to do that yet. <laughs> but you can print right onto converse with the DTG, and like literally from. When I first started making like tutu outfits, I always, always wanted to do the converse. So when I saw that the DTG could do converse, could do anything, that was the biggest thing. Um, and right now I'm just still on like the printable kid shirts. To me, that's the most profitable thing. Um, because you'll see on Etsy, like there's shops that have like the birthday shirts printed and it's like $12. And I'm like, how can they do that? I'm like, oh, they have a DTG. That's why. 
and it gives you it gives you so many more options. Um, I just haven't had the full on time to completely dive in. I got oh, no, I bought something to dive into just straight like adding all these principal shirts. I just can't wait till I have the time to do that. I just I'm worried. I'm just gonna be so busy um, and like swamped with orders. That's my only fear. Because I still want to have time to make videos and work on everything else. But I guess if that happens, good. I'll just deal with it when it happens. And then we all just come along for the ride. All right. Let me. I bought the design. Where is it? Okay. Do your digital files. So I can design this. Oh, and I got to cut that shirt. Never mind. I got to cut the shirt first and have it moving. Yeah, it's the finish. See, I told you I still have that diaper box right there from when you guys sent me the 100K uh, giveaway stuff. Just been using it for my, my trash. See? So make sure you, like, turn your hoop when you're cutting. Don't try to, like, curve your whole hand around. No. Just turn the hoop. It makes your life a lot easier. Oh, I used to, like, I only cut like this because I've been doing it for so long. I, man, it used to take me forever to cut a shirt. And you guys ask me that a lot, too. Why don't I just use, uh, like, the Cricut to cut the applique fabric? To me, it, I think it takes more time than actually cutting the shirt. To set it all up and do all that, I'm like, well, I think it's, it's just quicker for me to do it this way. But doesn't mean I can't try it. I pull this thread out. Yeah, uh, so yeah, Todd, he shifts machines like all over the United States. That's uh, that's how local works. It's not like you have to be in the state to buy. Everything is like done via, you know, DocuSign, like how you buy a house, everything is online. So you just contact him. His phone number is, it's in the comments. I mean, the description of this video, but I can put it in the comments. Todd Edgar's men, 770-820-8002. And you can also email him as well. Yeah, the stands, the, sometimes the stands, uh, the brother stands are sold out. That happened to me. I was so confused because I got my machine, and I'm like, hold on, the stand is missing. I called them, and I'm like, where is my stand? I said, oh, it's on back order. And I'm like, you didn't tell me that beforehand? Like, I need something to carry this thing. Hey, Pamela. So everybody, Sterling Styles, you'll see her in the comment section. She is the OG YouTuber. So she's literally the only reason that I even have what I have today. So if you would like to follow her, please subscribe to her channel. She literally is the OG, 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 OG. She's literally the reason I'm here. 
And if those who say that you're only here because I'm here, well, y'all are really only here because Pamela existed. If Pamela didn't exist, I'd be working at Target. I started off with a brother PE770 machine. Hey, Shayna. All right, let me. Did I click download already? Nope. That new mermaid shirt. It's like this mermaid design I've seen everywhere. It's not even a new mermaid, but for my shop, it's new. But they ordered one of my mermaids and literally wanted a totally different mermaid and just put it in the comments. And I was like, uh, I hope they respond to messages because a lot of people don't respond to messages. I would wreck for around 7K. I would look into a brother um, six needle. Number eight, Julia, Julia. This is mermaid called Keep Mermaid Applique. Kind of small. That looks kind of big. Janome's a brothers. I like brothers. Uh, for my receipts, like I said, I don't keep my receipts anymore because I have a business bank account. So literally everything is right there. The receipt is right there pretty much. When you buy it, it shows that you spent money at Joanne's. Here's a total from Joanne. So as long as you have your bank statements, but that's if you have separate accounts from business and personal. But before that, I used um, QuickBooks Self-Employed and scanned all my receipts in. I forgot, I'm still doing that other shirt. Actually, no, I don't recommend any other DTG other than the F and F2100 because it's the most reliable, period. I've heard nightmares about other DTG machines not working or they sell platins for the DTG machine that doesn't even, it doesn't even show up in the software, which makes no sense to me with inconsistent prints. Um, the Epson, after like literally, I've watched hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos, and Epson is the only one that seems the most reliable Maintenance is easy on the machines. It's it's a lot user. It's more user friendly. Totally recommend F and F twenty one hundred. I really don't re recommend any other machine. Um, let me. Oops, no. Stop. One, two, three. The okay, that's like oops, wrong color. I'm like designing this um 
new mermaid. So that's what I'm doing. Epicurious. 1921. I know a few people who have the Janome MB7, but some people who haven't said they rather they wish they had the brother instead, but bye, stay unique. Hey Lisa. Hey Nancy. I use the solid knit interlock fabric from Joann's. Um, all right, that shirt's done. And no, I'm not saying like all the receipts come over. I'm saying like big purchases, yes, keep the receipts. Period. Um, but, like, obviously, if you go to Joanne, it's a business expense. So, no one can, I mean, I did in the beginning. I kept literally every single receipt, and I had, like, a huge trash bag full of receipts. And you have to keep it for 10 years. So, my accountant's like, no, just sign up the business bank account. You see what you spent, where you spend it. But if it's over a certain dollar amount, you need the receipt. But, like, $10, as long as it says Joanne's, it's business. Um, 1884. 1765. I forgot what. Nope, that's not it. What number is brown? The brown is 1726. 1726. And the earring is. I can't see that. Mm. Yeah, I like I said, I used to use uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed um, to keep track of all my receipts. That was the easiest way I found in the beginning was just to do it that way. But because my accountant uses like the actual quick, like the huge QuickBooks, there's not that many options in the QuickBooks Self-Employed for accountants, so he. I don't know. He knows what he's doing. I don't, it's not my. It's not my thing. Um. What is this? Light blue. I don't know. I don't want those bleats. And am I good now? Yes. Her name is Julia. You just do what works for you with the bookkeeping. Um. But just make sure you're keeping track of everything. Julie, uh, pink, 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 pink. Oops. Guys, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, any advice on why my HTV gets wrinkled after pressing when I fold the shirt? cooled down pressing at what kind of htv are you using i don't um shouldn't get wrinkled um from pressing i usually do 310 300 or 310 for 12 seconds that's what i usually do um all right eight julia Save it to a flash drive and get that one rolling. I don't know about the brother dealer in 
Rockville, no. I went to oh oh there I think oh is it um oh what's it called G Street G Street Fabrics they have a huge fabric section but they're from when I went their prices were super high that's where you're talking about but you never know things can change because I went there like two years ago. It's like that. I don't know if it's the same one. If that one doesn't work out for you, Juana, go to Pocono Sewing Vac in Pennsylvania. It's a four-hour drive. No, I think it's like three hours, maybe. And the machines are so much cheaper there. The drive is worth the savings. Like, all the shops I went to in Maryland, they were just, the machines were just too expensive. I use embro <laughs> embroidery. <laughs> I use Embrilliance Essentials. It's linked down below in the description. I don't like what Makina brother me recommendas para empezar. Depende de tu... I don't want to say budget. Depende de cuanto quieres... Gastar um, en una máquina. I feel like gastar means waste. That's not what I mean. I mean spend. Um, pero si quieres un, una máquina que tiene más de un ¿es needle, hilo, or is that thread? <laughs> una aguja. Si tienes una uh, máquina con más de una aguja, puedes comprar el de seis needles. When you first posted a video on YouTube, did you have a social media following? Nope. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let me start this one up. This one is, oh, see, I almost messed up this whole shirt. I didn't finish cutting it. I think everybody's nervous when they start YouTube. Everyone is. It's just be yourself. Um, all right, so that's done. The shirts are done. So literally, there's only one shirt left. Hey, Araya. Oh, she messaged me. Remember I told you when you guys wanted me to make the shirts? She um House update is when we have something official, we will let you guys know nothing's official yet. I might puke being in front. <laughs> uh, YouTube, a lot of you guys see my, my original videos, the horrors, but Yes, it is what it is. Julia, Julia, Julia. File, say, stitch file as Julia. I think it's the first shirt that I got with the name Julia. Restock. We are. We have restocked two T, three T, four T girls white puff sleeve. Everything else will be in on about April twenty seventh. 
And again, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know we've been sold out for a while, but I really still appreciate each and every one of you guys' orders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I do want to like revamp my Etsy shop and change like my banner. I want to change a lot of stuff. I get like phases where I just need to change everything. It's just what I do. Um, eight needle. It's needle eight. Nope. It's needle six. Is teal. And khaki is sixteen. And then brown is needle eleven. And seven is black. Anyone ever get happy when, like, you get a customer that orders something custom and then it sells? And it's like, I never would have made it if you didn't ask for it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm glad you asked for it because I guess everyone else has the same taste as you do. Thanks. All right. So, last shirt. I keep touching, oh, tripping over here on my flies, tripping on my flies, tripping on my flies. I was a bit scared I'm gonna get my hair stuck. For those who have watched Sterling Styles, what is which one of her vlogs is your favorite? Or, or let me think of it, like how else I'm gonna say this. What is something that only OG Sterling Styles watcher would know? I got one. Every Easter she makes a peeps, a peeps cake. Let's see what else. Uh. They always get a strawberry frosted sprinkle donut from Dunkin' Donuts. You know the truth? Her husband is more addicted than her to Dunkin' Donuts. I swear. I swear it's Sterling. <laughs> Not you. Yep, the owl. Everyone knows that owl shirt. That is literally the video that started everyone's Etsy journey, embroidery journey. Es el brother... PR670E Máquina. S. Con seis agujas. El que está bordando ahora este. The journey she and her hubby went through to have journey. Yes. Let's see what else. I'm trying to get something else. Kenya. Her older daughter likes Duran Duran has cool stuff. Um, number eight. Number eight, number eight. There's no bombing in this machine at all. My goodness. Look at that. It's like an old man who keeps his one hair on his head. I love watching learning kids with animals. I want to find one day some good motivation for me. Yeah. Um.
It's just like Pamela ran her brother, her PE 770s, like crazy. And she has so many orders. Like, I think if I didn't see, like, some, like, because she had so, 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 so many orders, I was like, oh, this is definitely possible. Like, okay, it could work. This this can supplement my entire income. If I never saw that, I don't think I would have did embroidery. Because I would have been like, oh, only a few people will order. But seeing how many orders she always had and how many orders she put out, I was like, okay, okay, all right. And then, like, when I started getting orders, I'm like, oh, my God, this is impossible. This is too many. And then I'm like, no, Pamela can do it. I can do it. <laughs> no, Michelle, it's not PE 770. It's brother PR 670E. Ow, I just freaking bent. And then, because at the time, YouTube, they didn't have anybody. It was Pamela, Sterling Styles, and Cheryl, Cheryl and Pham. Those were, I watched their videos all the time. I didn't, oh, I did. This is the new shirt. See how it embroiders. Here's the shirt. No, Michelle, it's not. PR 670E. Hey, I'll put it. Brother PR six seventy E. That's a three. Right. The shirt is done. This shirt is done. So let me take these out there for them. They have bad or tea bags. Gold thread is sixteen seventy. Sixteen seventy. Take these out there. No, take that is just thirty to eight. Angela, what are your thoughts? on the So Yeah crew with their DCAS live streams. <laughs> they have so much fabric. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I think it was a good price because they were only $2 a fat quarter, but I didn't stay the whole time. Uh, let me... Send these out. The gold thread is sixteen seventy. Sixteen seventy. Oh, you think I'm so sassy? Thank you. Thank you very much. The tender touch shirts, the finished completed shirts. Yes, sir. That didn't sound good. Who? 
you just I my I can't roll my R's. That's why. Pe e re can't roll my R's. Hey Valerie. The font on the six shirt that was um Stitch Topia Sarah too. I don't know the name of it. Let me look. Uh, my bill is ready. Thanks. That's all I ever wanted anybody. Hola, Monica. It's one o'clock. I have one on one in an hour and a half ish. Lunch, uh, food. I want some food to eat. Food, go me that. What do I want to eat? What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? <laughs> um, I don't know because Cordoba was disgusting. Um, I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. Food. Just food. Oh, that's not nice. You so mean. <laughs> um Ooh, do I have a shirt that I messed up on? I do. Okay. So guys, since I messed up on the shirt, I um look. So it was a hole in the shirt, messed up. So, they have the, um, there's this one, but I have an open one. All Stitch has the, um, the Stitch Eraser. They sell it. The Fairs has two speeds. And they have uh, different blades. So, if you like, you mess up. What you would do is you would you don't do it on the front. You don't do it right here. You shave it where the stabilizer is, and it takes the stitches out, so you can start over again. Oh, the shirt stops. So my other tip with embroidery vinyl, if you haven't been watching or if you missed it. When you have to do the numbers, and you know, like an eight has two little circles, so instead of like trying to dig, it's best to cut it before you embroider this down. And they're on sale right now on All Stitches website for $69.85 if you want to get them. It has two blades, the narrow and wide blade. That's awesome. So, so I just wanted to mention that. I know a lot of people were asking about the stitch erasers, so they sell it. Um... Yes, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. No, I'm not going to sell my baby luck uh, one needle. So, I don't know. It's, I have sentimental attachment to it because it's, like, my not my first, but, like, the machine that I took to the flea market with me all every single weekend, like, in that aspect. The only way I would get rid of it Cause I, I wouldn't sell it. I would give it to somebody um, who needs it. Um, if I don't keep it, just it's just like to me, it deserves to be like in a case because it has so many stitches on it. That's the other thing. It has so many stitches. I don't know if I want to give it to somebody, then like they have issues and I feel bad. Um, 
please do a video on how, why you got started, new to your channel, love it here. I, I feel like I have a video on my story that you could see on my channel. I have a few videos. Hola, ¿qué marca usas de hilos y dónde lo compras? Felicidades por tu trabajo. Gracias, Elizabeth. Yo uso Madeira Poly Neon Thread y lo compro de Allstitch.com. Every time I say that, I feel like I sound like Don Francisco. <laughs> Becky Store. I'm excited about getting my first order of your AJ Blank shirts. Place the order yesterday and already received notice that it's shipping out today. Yes. Thank you, thank you for your order. We try to ship all orders out. Same or next day. Try, try to keep that promise. If you're starting over now, would you still do the flea markets? Yes. Um, because the flea markets, without the flea markets, I wouldn't even. Uh, sorry. The heck, that was random. Okay, without the flea markets, I wouldn't even like. I wouldn't have any clientele. I wouldn't have anything. Um, the flea markets literally, I guess it made me see that it was possible and that there was high demand for it because I was busy at the flea market. Hey, you are the biggest inspiration. Me and my sister bought a six needle PR 670 because of you. I have a question. Have you ever tried snap hoops? Magnetic ones, snap hoops. I've never heard of the term snap hoops. I use mighty hoops, which are magnetic. I've never heard of snap hoops. Um, what the heck are snap hoops? Well, the, the snap hoop, that's for like, those aren't for the most needle machines. I don't know why my nose is running all of a sudden. Like, why? What happened to my nose? Snap hoops are for the, uh, like, the small machines. Simply Bold just got my order. Thanks, Angela. Thank you. Simply Sally. Angela, talk about people that inspired her. Look at all the people she's inspiring. So proud of you, girl. Thank you, Sally. You're doing the same thing, though. Doing the same thing. Every time I see you, like, using the wood thing, I'm just like, oh, my God. I scared. My fingers going to get cut off. <laughs> hey, Kay. I got asked to work a farmer's market on, a, on craft day. I'm contemplating. Why are you contemplating? Just do it. Do it. I don't have allergies. At least I don't. never had them. Knock on wood, but, like, I don't know. I want you fabrics to my scrunchies. Which one's recommended? Uh, yo sé que Alessia usa, está haciendo scrunchies. Yo no sé qué tipo de telas necesitas usar. Creo que los knit, los, las telas que son knit, es los que debes usar. Yo no sé 100%. I don't know if that was even correct. So, the threads, sometimes you get blanks that has like, like let's see, a little thread. You just snip it um, if they have it. You just snip, snip. This is your full-time job. Would you ever open an official shop in a mall? Yes, this is my full-time job. No, I would. My, I just don't want to do that again. Like working at the flea market was equivalent to like working at a mall. Um, because the mall, you have to be there all day or you get fined if you're not there. Um, and I'm not sitting in a mall all day. That's just not my thing. Uh, I like to be home in the comfort of my home. But that's similar to the flea market. When I was at the flea market, I was there every weekend from 7 to like 6 every single weekend. And if you're late, you got fined for being late. You had to be open the whole entire time. So, um, yeah, no. Out of all my machines, the Melcos are my favorites, but I love all my machines. I just realized I didn't cut this through. I'm so curious to see how this is going to turn out.
Ana, la te salteaste y no me llegaste a contestar cómo podría vender en Etsy. Para vender en Etsy, necesitas un, tu número social, no sé, eso es como se dice, pero necesitas eso para vender en Etsy. No necesitas un business license, una licencia de negocio, eso no necesitas, solamente necesitas un social security number. Oh, thank you. He said, good job speaking Spanish. No, the flea market, like, you got to be open on time. Like, your, your stand has to be nice. And it was expensive. The flea market for the table, they had tables. The table with electricity was $175 um, for the weekend. And then we had, like, a little store, and that was $275 a weekend. So for two days, you got to pay all that money. Araya, gotta go back to work. See y'all later. I enjoy listening. Have fun at work, Araya. Well, any kind of fabric work for applique, do you need a specific kind of any embroidery? You can use like cotton, like cottons are always the safest. You can use minky fabric, you can use knit fabric, you can pretty much use almost any fabric. Um I do recommend heat and bond on most fabrics, especially the knit, because the knit is so stretchy. The, the heat and bond light helps it, uh, helps with cutting it and helps it last and not stretch so much. Guess size of the mask on the before they boil it down and they pay P800. Um, como, como un ocho, yo creo. Here we can take work or products to flea markets and they sell it. Oh, that's nice. Can you repeat the Etsy license info in English? I it sounded important and my Spanish is terrible. <laughs> so I was saying, they were saying, how they how do you start on Etsy? And I said, you just have to have a social security number or a business license. But you don't have to have a business license. One or the other is fine. How did I start? I started at a flea market, um, selling at a flea market. Embroidery vinyl is canvas backing, whereas heat transfer vinyl, this is like glue pretty much. So when you heat it, it glues onto the shirt. And this is canvas. So if you just sit there and put this on the shirt and heat it, it's not going to do anything. It has nothing on the back. It's just like fabric. It's thicker. It's canvas backing. So you have to like stitch on it to stick it, adhere to a shirt. Are my, is my AirPods dying? It doesn't say it is. I could switch to my other one somewhere that I don't see. Oh, it's on the floor. Let me know if you can hear me better. Is it any better? No, I don't add heat and bond to embroidery vinyl. Is it better if you not hear me? Hey, Tammy. So we took the machine, we took that one big one needle machine every weekend to the flea market. And then we took the six needle to the flea market because people, it's like you're waiting, they're sitting there waiting for you to finish the shirt and they just sit there. And I'm like, go to the food court and go eat the food court and it'll be done. And it's just so nerve wracking um, because I also have like Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secrets that I was selling and like trying to deal with customers, trying to buy things. And I had like Dove Body Wash trying to deal with those customers while trying to embroider. Oh my God, it was a headache. And then like in the beginning, Keenan didn't know how long it took to make a shirt. So he was like, yeah, just come back in 10 minutes. So we we'll back in 10 minutes. The shirt's not even hooped on the machine yet. <laughs> but it was a fun experience. I think Keenan and I got closer because of the whole experience. It was fun doing it. Um, I would do it again, not permanently, but like for a weekend or something, just for fun. But um, yeah, it was an experience. Cut my finger. Uh, 
Um, another machine instead of the brother P eight hundred because they're they're so expensive. I would get like a machine that has a six by ten hoop. Um, because the brother is pretty much the same price as those machines now. So um, there's the Baby Lock Flourish too, which I think you need to go to a dealer to buy, or you can buy the brother Novus something. I still don't know the numbers for it. Can you please show the heat and bond again? Yeah, sure. No problem. Hold on. It's heat and bond light. It's the purple one. I buy the big bolts of it. Every time I open a new bolt, I buy a new bolt. But it's this one. Heat and bond light. Uh, if you buy the other one, it'll gunk up your needle. This one does it. Hey, Cynthia. When you cut them, I just cut, I don't cut every piece of thread. I just don't. I, I, I don't got time for all that. I cut most of them, and then when you put the tenor touch on it, it covers it. Yes, these are still my favorite scissors. I've tried, like, I have those purple ones, and I like them, but I've been cutting holes in shirts, and I just get so upset. I've just been using these for so long, it's hard to not use them. But the other ones are very nice, too. Hey, Tammy does it. When I started as Diana. Um... Yeah, I usually get this whole bolt for $35, so it has 35 yards, so I pay about a dollar a yard for this. I only buy it when it's $35 a yard. If it's 42 it's still a good price. Yo uso en Brilliant Essentials para diseñar todos mis diseños. Mira ese español. Voy a poner el link, o alguien, mi hermana, o mi esposa va a poner el link para... And brilliant. You know, be laughing at my Spanish. See, mi español. Muy bueno. <laughs> I get it off Amazon. I never buy it at Joanne's. Amazon for $35. Let me see if it's $35 right now. It's probably not. But whenever it's $35, buy it. Ay, 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 ay. Ganda y no llores. The coffee's kicking in. Peace. P, and July, I've been watching your videos, but every time I get a chance, I just want to say, you're awesome, you rock, girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's see. It is on sale for $43. Hold on. Let me put my discount code. My, I can give you guys my affiliate link. $43. Please hold. Don't buy nothing yet. If you need some heat and bond light, wait a minute. So I can put my link in there. I need to make my five cents. <laughs> Oh, not a yard, a bolt, a bolt, heat and bond light. So, yes, this entire thing, it's 35 yards on it. It is currently $43 on Amazon. Click my link. Link, link, look in the comments. Click on that link and buy it. Why does my nose keep running? Better go catch it. Um, so for 43.70 a yard, a yard, wow, for 43.70, let's see, how much is it per yard? $43.70 divided by 35 yards. It's $1.24 a yard. I love my Melcos. I love them. They so fast. Um, yeah, buy it. I need, I need my cancer. <laughs> hey, Alicia. Welcome, welcome. Um, the UPS free shipping labels. I'll post them. Um, shipping. Order supplies. Order supplies. All right, I'm gonna send you the link. Um, UPS shipping labels. Three, 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 three. 
That's the link. What's your tips on managing orders? I'm just beginning using Excel, but I can make imagine it gets very overwhelming. Is there a platform to make it more streamlined? Um, most people use Excel and, and use that. If you don't have an Etsy shop, um, it's a bit harder. The new system I'm using, I don't know how many orders you get, is I'm just printing the orders as they come, putting them in these little pouches and keeping these. And that way I have everything in front of me and I know what needs to be done. I can always, like every day when I get new orders in the night, put them in here and like reorganize them by need by date. If you go by that or if you just go by the way the orders come in, that's easiest. Put the shirt in here and have everything you need for the order that way it's already ready for you. And it, keeps, it helps you keep track of inventory that way as well. Sí, yo uso en Brilliance Essentials para diseñar mis diseños. Puedo ponerte un link. Hay un link en el en el description. Um, en Brilliance link. Can somebody put the en Brilliance link, please? Somebody? Anybody, please? Also, en Brilliance, that was another question. It's a one-time purchase. Solamente tienes que pagar para en Brilliance una vez. Y lo puedes usar, and you can use it, con cualquier número de, de computadoras que tienes. Si tienes como tres, cuatro, cinco, seis computadoras, no sé si tienes tantos, pero si tienes muchas máquinas o muchas computadoras, puedes poner um, en Brilliance en todos, that was so French X, <laughs> en todos <laughs> las computadoras. No tienes que comprar en Brilliance una vez, dos veces, tres veces, solamente una vez y se puede poner en todas las computadoras que tienes. Y I'll say that in English. For in Brilliance, you can put it on as many computers as you have. It's not just for one computer. You don't have to disconnect it from one. You can have them on every computer. I have it on every computer I have in this house. Just saying. Do, do, do. Yeah, how was that Spanish? Hmm. Quick, quick books. You, so the white embroidery machines you would get from a brother or baby lock dealer. The gray embroidery machines you would purchase from Todd Eggersman. He is a Melco sales rep, the best Melco sales rep, super nice dude. So you can purchase it from him. Yo no hago un video en español porque yo no sé. Será muy difícil para mí hacer un video en español. Tal vez hago, ha, haría uno, pero yo no sé qué, qué tipo de video. Quiero como un tutorial, como hacer un aplique o algo así, yo no sé. Beanies I would buy from SNS Activewear or alphabroder.com. Sí, sí, Mari, Marianela, ya, yeah, Marianella, Ma, I can't read that, I'm too far away. Sí, en Brilliance Esencial, en Brilliance Esencial. Hola, Eric from Humboldt Park, Chicago. Hola, Eric. My tongue is numb from speaking Spanish, I swear. Uh, Yes, if you mention my name when you speak to Todd, you get the the hookup. The hookup means a discount. Ah, ya, yeah, gracias. Voy a ver si aquí en mi país, Perú, los venden. Lo puedes comprar, tienes que comprarlo en el internet, en brilliance.com. Pero tengo un, un link. Um, el link está arriba en el chat. Dice, en brilliance. Dot dot H T T P dot dot <laughs> slash slash. How do you say that? A B C D E F G H. No, I forgot H. J L E Y M N O P Q R S T. I already said U O U V W W. 
Uh, custom mailer bags I get from Alibaba. When you type in custom mailer bags, they're super expensive, but in the minimum it's five hundred. Um, the more you buy, the cheaper it is. So like a thousand is still expensive. Like I think on Amazon they're like nine cents a bag. I pay like what was it like sixty five cents a bag. So they get expensive, but I was saying the alphabet. I'm trying to spell out HTTPS and Brilliance.com. I have been following you on YouTube since mid-2019. I remember when you mentioned you didn't know much Spanish and was starting to practice it more. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so well. Thank you, Nairo Martinez. Es que vi... yo soy cubana. Mi mamá es cubana. Y ella habla español. Pero, pero, yo mudé a Minnesota y nadie habla español en Minnesota. Y después... Mudé a Florida y todos hablan español y Florida. Entonces, mi español, un poco más bueno. Y después, mudé a Maryland y nadie habla español excepto mi mamá. Pero ella siempre, solamente me habla español cuando está enojada. Entonces, yo estoy tratando de enseñar a Riley y Roman para hablar español. Ellos saben pan, queso, hola. Y mamá y papá. Yo no soy puertorriqueño, no. Ok. All right. Um, do you recommend for beginners to start with a small machine or just go for the machine you have? If you have the money, it, it, like it all depends on people's budgets. My concern with people getting a super expensive machine is if they've never embroidered before, do you like it? Like, that's my thing. Do you like it? That's why I always say get the small machine because you can always resell it. But if you know you're going to like it and you have such a high interest and you're business oriented, you have a whole business plan in mind, then go for the big machine. Do, do, do. So I just came out of the brother dealer. They gave me a price of $15,899 for a 10 needle. Is that acceptable? It's high, but it could be higher. Like the highest I've seen for the 10 needle is $25,000. Um, so it's in the middle, but to, I don't know. It's just because I know they can go for like 10, 11, but uh, yeah, let's see the way my account is set up. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I don't know. That's a decision you're going to have to make. I mean, like I said, it's not horrible. I wish it was like, if it was like 12, I'd say, yeah, go for it. 15 is still like, how much is the, the six needle? Hey, Michaela. Oh, shoot. See, I keep forgetting I'm doing shirts because I'm having so much fun talking. The... Guys, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, this shirt is done. How? So there's really no rule on how long it's going to take you to get a sale, okay? So it's all about how many items you have, how consistent you are, how good your pictures are. There's a lot of things that go into um, and when, how, when and how many sales you get. Some people have gotten sales same day, but never expect that because you're going to set yourself up for disappointment. Don't expect to get a sale for a month. I would say that. If you get a sale before a month, congratulations. Um, but So the so yeah, it just never such a suffer for that. Um so the Melcos are thirteen about thirteen seven, thirteen thousand seven hundred and sixteen needles. They're great machines. Um and you get them pretty quickly because uh the longest it took to get was six days, the shortest was two days. The two days though, I wouldn't ever expect to get it in two days unless you live like right. In, Cause they're in Colorado, um, and if you live really close, maybe. But uh, about like six, seven days uh, is what I would expect. Um, 
and they ship to anywhere in the United States. And yes, they, the the I'll just round up to fourteen thousand because people do. It depends on what you get. So you get all the thread. You get sixteen threads with your machine. You get the stand. You get all the tools for maintenance with the machine. It's like a whole toolkit. Um, you get the two days of training. You get what else does it come with? Delivery is included. So and they set it like they set it up for you. They set the stand up for you. You have to put the cones and threads on yourself, but they set that up. So yeah, it's fourteen. Let's say fourteen thousand uh, for these sixteen needle. Do do do. What do you recommend for small machines? Embroidery? Could you do a video on starting embroidery machines? Top five picks. Hawaii. Oh, that's a good. I, just, I had somebody in Hawaii that bought one. Not that it was like my, me, but a subscriber in Hawaii bought one. Contact Todd. Um, I would text him, but my phone's right here. He doesn't have an iPhone, so I can't even like text him on my MacBook. Otherwise, I would. But if you you can even text Todd. You don't have to call him. I know some people get nervous calling people. He's not like that. So if you just text him, say, hey, question, do you guys ship to Hawaii? He can answer that for you. I like how you don't avoid answering in Spanish as a lot of people do it. You are very smart. <laughs> I mean, at first I was just too nervous because it's like I didn't know the words, but I'm like, I'm just going to sound dumb, but I'm just like, whatever. To answer. They'll figure out what I'm trying to say. Hopefully somebody will explain it to them. <laughs> Todd's phone number is 770-820-8002. Darlene, I'm in Colorado, but don't own a mail car. I brother's baby lock. I messaged Todd and he never emailed me. So sometimes Todd's phone does get full. Um, I try to tell him that. <laughs> he needs to like erase his email, uh, his his voicemails. Um, so if you live in Denver, I'm pretty sure you can go actually have a demo on the mail call so that you can go there and see the machine in person because they have the whole headquarters up there, I believe. Message Todd. They could set that up for you if you want to like see it first. Do, do, do. Or if you just want to fly and fly up there and see it, you can do that too if you don't live in Denver. Um, Elizabeth, saludos de Mexico, Mexico. Hi, hola, Michaela, mahalo. That means hi, I think. See, I keep forgetting to do this. I'm just so excited. I just like adding new things to my shop and like this is a new thing and someone's already ordered it, so. I can't forget I have a one-on-one -on -one soon. I'm in Northern California. And it's been beautiful here all week. Oh, so sweet, so nice. It's been okay here, it's been raining. Verita, Todd is very busy. Keep trying to reach him. Yes, I, I promise you, Todd, like, just just imagine being Todd. His phone rings all day long. And the thing is, he's usually on the phone because he's talking with one of you guys. So if he misses your call, if you leave him a message, a voicemail, it, like, I think the easiest thing to do is text Todd. Text him or email him. That's why it's in writing and it's more likely um that he'll see it and don't don't feel like you're bothering him if you call him again it's his job i bother todd if he doesn't answer the phone i just call him again <laughs> and then i text him like you're ignoring me sir <laughs> i know todd is very funny well well this funny he has dad jokes Yes, I'm totally out of girls' onesies, the bodysuits, the ruffle onesies. I'll have them in about the 27th. Sign up for the restock alerts because on the event they happen to show up before the 24th, I mean the 27th, then the second they go up on the website, it sends you a text message right away that they're in stock. That way you know right away. For adult shirts, yes, I use the, I think it's 11 by 14, 11 by 13, Mighty Hoop. This is what I use for adult shirts. I also use this for like a girl's 12 and 14. Um, 
Um, trying to read. Flex, Flexi, B, is it say blah, blah, or B, a, B, a? Keep up the good work. You inspire me to start a sewing hobby to a real business in the near future. Greetings from Amsterdam. Hello. And I wish you much success on everything you do. Um, I had a custom order for a little Build-A-Bear shirt. I was so nervous, but it came out so cute. Oh, my God. That must be adorable. And I like your stuff because it's like everything you make is just it's like one of a kind. Like it's so different. And then like when I was watching you cut the fabrics and how precise you have to be to cut your fabrics. I'm like, oh, no, my thing will come out lopsided. <laughs> I, mm, mm, nope. That's not a skill for me. Two, two was hard enough. And then you're sitting there like cutting off. And then you like have to measure it and make it so straight. Then you, and I was like, oh, no, see. Riley just talked to wear something jacked up. She's going to look like I'm going to just tell her it's supposed to be like that. I'm going to say, sorry, Riley. It's just that like one of your shoulders is just higher than the other shoulder. <laughs> nope, LOL. 16, 17 gold. I heard the top of the line. Latest model, Melco, is amazing. Love your vids, A. Eh? Oh, thank you. Wash your hands. You sound fine. My brother's here. I wanted to try another machine, but what would you recommend? So I so this is this is my recommendation. I have two six needles. If I went to buy, if I was going to buy another machine that wasn't a Melco, I would buy another six needle. I To me, the 10 needle, I'd rather have two six needles versus one 10 needle. Um, most designs are six, seven. I mean... Changing one needle thread is not the end of the world, and I'd rather be able to work on two shirts versus just one. They ten needle and six needle go the same exact speed, although they go up to a, they say they go up to a thousand. They don't really go to a thousand. Not with applique. Um, really, it runs about a five six hundred speed um, for those machines. Although you could put it all the way up, um, but it depends on your budget. Um, from a six needle, you can always go to a Melco if you want to go to a Melco. Um, it depends on what your goals are. What are you, are you expanding your business? Are you trying to do like hats? Are you trying to increase production speed? Then go for Melco. If you just like everything the way it is, you can get another six needle. Totally up to you. No, I buy all my designs. Only thing I do is change colors, pick fabrics. I'm not that creative. Bye, Anna. Cassandra, the queen of tutus, has arrived. Catch you customs. The gold thread is 1670, 1670. Uno My coffee is super cracking. I got another Etsy sale. Oh, wow. It's a Valentine's Day shirt. That that threw me off. Well, you'll just have the most random shirt selling. People ask me, oh, should I take my holiday stuff off? No. See that? Oh, I'm in the middle of ordering my Melco with Todd right now. See, that's why he didn't answer. He's on the phone with her. <laughs> well, congratulations on getting a Melco. I use Embroidery Boutique. I like Hooked on Applique. I like designs by Juju, although I just started using her. A lot of you guys have recommended her, and then So Crappy Teacher with Alicia was like, just use her. I was worried to use her fonts. I get nervous about using new people's fonts because you never know her font stitches out well, um, especially if it's like a skinny font, but it actually stitched out well. Um, Angela, entre a la página de Embrillance, pero tiene varios programas de diseño, tengo que comprar todos. No. Necesitas el que dice en Brilliance Essentials, Essential, S, que es, es como 169, creo. Déjame ver. Dice productos y el, el, el 
primeros productos es esenciales. Y es, oh, ahora está en venta, 139. The brilliance is on sale right now until the 20th for $139. Please use my link if you're going to purchase it. If you have a MacBook, that is pretty much your option. It is the best option for MacBook and Brilliance Essentials. I use I don't prefer embroidery, embroidery vinyl over heat transfer vinyl. I don't. It's just I like them both. There's not one over the other. It depends on the look you want your design to have. Essential. Aquí se llama. $139. Sí, $139. Ese. Ese es el mismo. I feel like I'm speaking about a telenovela. <laughs> Every time I speak Spanish, I it reminds me of my childhood because Spanish is actually my first language. I knew Spanish before I knew English. I think, at least. Is my mother here? I'm pretty sure because my mother speaks Spanish. My Everyone who watched us spoke Spanish. So I feel like Spanish was our first language. But then we went to school and learned English. When would you use Heat Vino versus Embroidery? It literally, there's... It just depends on what you want your design to look like. There's never a reason you would use one over the other. Bye, Nikki. Christina Melendez. Hi, Anza. I've been watching you since you didn't do embroidery. <laughs> yeah, those horrible videos. Yeah, those, yeah. My second time catching you on live. Just ordered my machine. Thanks for the inspiration. Oh, congratulations on your new machine. That is awesome. Laura Estrada, no sabía que eres bilingual. That is awesome. Thank you. Un poco, un poquito. I was doing a one-on-one -on -one in Spanish. And I felt so bad because, like, I understood everything they were saying. My Spanish, on the other hand, I was like, see, this is why I don't do YouTube videos in Spanish. Because y'all just going to be looking at me like, I'm like, someone's going to be like, this girl thinks she can speak Spanish. Ha, 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 ha. And then I'll be like, but I can say some things in Spanish. Ha, ha. <laughs> Joanne's had the interlock fabric on sale $5.99 a yard plus additional 25 off orders online. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's good. I would also say, um, who was here? Like it was last year, I did the we did a on Instagram live. Um, we did like a scavenger hunt thing in your house. You had like 15 seconds to find five things. I list maybe it was 30 seconds. And if you did, I think I gave everybody was it like just five dollars or something. But it was fun. Follow me on Instagram. I'll do it again soon. That would be fun. Is it easy to change thread on the Melco? By the way, thank you so much for answering all my questions. Yes, I change threads the same exact way on both machines. You gotta just tie the knot and pull it through. I did that. That was so fun. Thought my cat was a kid because of me out. Oh yeah, that was you. <laughs> Thirty seconds. I lost. Yeah, you. <laughs> You, <laughs> you had Sterling helping you. It, I forgot what I asked you to get. You had to go upstairs. I think you had to get Rotel. It's oh, that yeah, was funny. Yeah. Hey, Haley from the UK. Oh, I just found out I had a one-on-one -on -one with somebody in the UK. A chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. I told you. <laughs> I told you to go get a chicken. <laughs> You're real chicken. Yeah. Um, I did, So I was finding out some words in the UK. And I was. I, it was funny that they call McDonald's Mackie D's. And I'm like, okay, yeah, old McDonald. And, but we say McDonald. And I was like, oh, okay. And then a, vet, a baby vest is what we call a bodysuit onesie. So. I learned some things. Uh, 
Um, SW, I visited my local brother dealer. This 10 needle was 16,000 and the 16 needle was 10,000. They're too expensive. That's expensive. Like, so that's the thing. I don't want to tell you guys not to get the machine you want to get, okay? That is totally up to you. I can't control the prices that they have. Um, that I just, I just can't control that. Um, you just have to be comfortable with what you're spending, period. I mean, I, I am nobody to tell you, yes, get it, no, don't get it. I can just tell you if it's expensive. It's just like buying a car. It's expensive other places. I mean, if you want the car, get it. I mean, literally, I can't tell you what to get. Um, that 10 needle, though, I would for a 10 needle, I'd rather you get a Melco because the Melco is 14. You get 16 needles versus the 10 needle, and you get uh, it's 16, it's 16,000. It's more expensive. That's just my opinion. That's what I would do, but it's up to you. Oh, I look different because so. I have finally found my makeup combination. It's not real makeup. I have I have a uh, mascara on. I want to get a brother and burning machine. I always say that the six needle uh, versus the ten. In my opinion, you should get two six needles versus one ten needle. Um, because to me, like the six needles, I think it would be like two six needles was like thirteen thousand, whereas one ten needle was ten thousand. I'm like, well, I'd rather have two machines. What is your biggest tip for someone starting an Etsy shop this year? My biggest tip is, as I always say, keep creating, create whatever you want. Um, don't be discouraged. There's so many people. I mean, how many stores sell like, I'm going to call something dumb. Okay, like children's Tylenol. How many stores sell gum? Like, every store you go into pretty much sells a pack of gum, and Like, you, there's no way one person or even a million people can make every birthday shirt, every type of shirt that exists. Don't be discouraged because there's so many people out there. It doesn't, it does not matter. It does not matter. Make, keep making things. Keep making things. You never know. You'll find one item you make. No one else has. Okay, yeah, people will, will make copy you. Whatever. You're their OG. You're their original. Just keep making stuff. You just, you never know. Really, you never, ever, 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 ever know. Like, and, okay, some copies, you make new stuff. Just keep making new things. I mean, you are you. No one can make what you make the way you make it. Nobody is you. Nobody has your mind. You're your own person. You have your own flair, your own style, your own creativity to add to your own stuff. So, yeah. Yes, I made this hoodie. If you would like to purchase this hoodie, you can purchase it at AngelaJasmina.com. <clears throat> Something like QVC. So, the buy machines in China... I I know people who have them, not personally. In my embroidery group, there's people who have the buy machines. I think they come with like a one year warranty. Um, I don't know much about them. That is totally up to you if you want to purchase that machine. I I don't. It's just my the only my reservation now. Like I said, you make your own decisions. Keena, why did your AirPods connect to my thing? Don't start talking out there, sir, because your Air it says your AirPod connected. So I don't know if they can hear me now. Can you hear me? Okay, well, I must hope you can hear me. So with the buy machines, my concern is how are you going to get that machine fixed? If there's a part that you need, okay, they say they ship it. They can ship it to you, but how long is that going to take? Do they have somebody in the United States that can service the machine? Like, can you <clears> – <throat> these are just questions I have. You can have your answers. Um, um, if a part if a part is needed, can you get it? How long is it gonna take to get it? Um, can you have a tech come fix it for you? Like, how does that work? I just it's just so many questions, and I'm just like, I don't know if that's a risk I'm willing to take. I mean, to save two thousand dollars versus getting a brother, and I, it, that's just up to you guys and and what decision you want to make. Um, but you want a machine that's gonna last long, and I always say look at warranty. Warranty tells you a lot about a machine and how long the company expects that machine to last for. Um, because, I mean, you get a car, usually they have, what, six-year warranty? Not that cars don't last six years, but you know it at least run really good for six years. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, as long as, I, my biggest thing is, though, as long as you keep up with maintenance on your machines and do the, get the maintenance done, your machine should last. Um, but try to, I recommend getting a machine where there's, you know somebody who has it, 
you know, you have a resource. If you have a question, um, that's my my biggest thing. I mean, you you, know, you get what you want to get, um, but yeah. Do, do, do. I mean, like I said, people have the buy machine. They there are definitely at least three people in my group, and I think the group our group has fifteen thousand people, and I think there's at least three people in the group who have that machine. There's like every brand machine is there's Redline, there's Blue Sky, there's Happy, there's Melcos, there's Brothers, there's Wacomas, everybody, every machine, they have it in that in my group. So literally just it's totally up to you and your risk factor, what you're comfortable risking. I mean, it's up to you. I can't tell you what to do with your money. my food here yet um, oh my watch told me to breathe i guess i wasn't breathing i was talking too much i was giving a speech Do. my email is kids custom designs at gmail.com if i'm trying to buy a house should I wait to purchase the machine? If you're buying a Melco, no. Brother, yes. Because Brother, Melco does it differently. Melco, the way they finance the machines, it doesn't hit your credit. Um, it's, like, different. So you could talk to Todd. He'll give you more information on that. Because I would ask him that, too. Because I, I was like, I, if I'm buying a house, he's like, no. Melco doesn't affect buying a house. Because it's, like, a lease, a lease type. I don't know the specifics. But... Buying a brother, baby lock or coma, yes. Do not buy one of those if you're trying to buy a house right now because that hits your credit and incre increases your, cre your credit, wow, your debt to income. So be careful with that. You get what you pay for. Yes, that's the nice way to put it. Does the 14K Melco take into account that they need a laptop software? Is that why the brother and baby lock is more money? So you can get a laptop. Um, the 14,000 does not include the laptop. That includes the delivery, the stand, um, it includes the software and includes all of that. It just doesn't include a computer. Um, so yeah, I mean, I won't say a laptop is worth $6,000 in price difference. Um, but yeah, so a laptop, your laptop for high side, Mac, like eight, nine, ten, a thousand dollars. If you want like a bougie laptop, like I got thousand dollars but you can get an old windows laptop let's say five hundred dollars and get a laptop to run your milko so it's not crazy um but yes um and i said that the baby locker brother i think they just based they let the dealer set their prices i mean that's the biggest thing so um do and the Melco, it does come with a six-year warranty and the tech support. Um, brother, at least in my experience, you like if I have a question, I can call the dealer, but they may or may not know the answer. There wasn't a real tech support that I had. Um, it, everything just says call, take it to a certified technician every time I, if I ever had an issue. I just went to Facebook. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 I can't take this machine. I need to find somebody that knows something about this machine. Hello, Angela Green from San Jose, California. Was wondering how many embroidery machines do you have and what do you recommend for first time buyers? Thank you, Colleen, Teresa, or Teresa. I don't know which, which word to say it, but um, I'm telling me to breathe again. I recommend, I have a few machines. I started out with a Brother PE770. Brother, Melco does not have a six needle. Um, Melco does have used machines too, though. So if you want to buy a used machine, you can also contact Todd. So they do have used machines. So that's another option. Um, Pre-owned is a nice way. <laughs> uh, and there's nothing wrong with pre-owned machine. Because at least they check it over. And it's not like, you know, you, you got it certified. So, yeah. Okay. Um, the, to start, you can get a brother. Ooh, it froze. A brother. My computer's, my phone's dying. I forgot. Uh. We're going now because Brother P800 is like overpriced now. So like the Brother Novus or the uh, 
Baby lock flourish too. Not when you have to wait a month. Oh, that's crazy. Do, do, do. Um, my hot flying sea press just arrived this week. Thanks for letting me peek on your process. So excited to offer heat press items to my customers. Congratulations. I know that's so exciting. I love my hotronics. Gabriela, hola, mija de Colombia, Maryland. Love all your videos. Hola. Maybe we're running to each other one day at Hobby Lobby, Joanne's in Colombia. Oh, I need that. Ow. I need this. I need my food. I hope my food comes soon because I have a one-on-one -on -one soon. I want to eat before my one-on-one. -on -one. Do I feel like I touched the oil. Last one, my Teresa. The P800 is how much? 2000 dollars God dang. Shoot, I need some P800s to sell. My goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you price your items at the flea market compared to your Etsy? I did have them cheaper at the flea market because um, obviously there wasn't shipping costs. Um, and I use, at the flea market, I only use Gildan. I use Gildan t-shirts um, instead of right now AJ Blinks. Um, so my cost was a lot lower, but I charged $15 just for a number shirt. And again, there's no shipping cost, which is like $4. So I would take my shirt to $19 if I was shipping it. So $15 is what I showed, is what I Sold. I'd say on Etsy, they're like $2 more. That's insane. It is 2.06 p.m. in the afternoon here. Guys, if you're enjoying this live, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It is free, free, free. It's a button that looks like that that says subscribe. And then there's a bell button next to it. If you click that and turn on all notifications, you will be notified on your phone that, hey, Angela uploaded a new video today. So please do that. It really helps me out to be subscribed and to, you know, engage with my, my videos. Commenting helps a lot. Giving it a thumbs up helps. So if you can do that, you know, it would really mean a lot to me. Ooh. Do you sell your designs for baby shirts? I buy all these designs. None of these are mine. Um, so you can buy them on the designs on Etsy. Let's see how she turns out. To get a design digitized, uh, you would just find a digitizer. There's one, there's a few in the, my embroidery group who can digitize for you. Pina, hey Angelina. I bought a PRS 100. I think that's a, the one needle, um, like a one needle bait brother machine. I opened it at the shop at one stitching thank god i have been blessed with tons of orders the machine basically already paid for itself in three months from receiving it that is awesome people i get that question a lot how long will it take to pay off my machine it depends on how much work you put into your business you put in a lot of work you make a lot of stuff you take good pictures you upload your items you're consistent 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 you can pay your machine off really fast like that's the thing people see price tags and they're like oh my god it's so expensive but you forget these machines make money, whereas, like, let's say a car, that doesn't make money for you. I mean, if you drive for Uber, maybe, but, like, other than that, these make money for you. So think about that, too. My milk will pay for itself in one year. That is so awesome, Rebecca. Congratulations. That is awesome, awesome. Also, yes, when you buy, if you buy a second Melco, your second Melco is a lot cheaper than your first because you're getting a second machine. You don't need to buy software anymore and you don't need training. So your second Melco will be a lot cheaper than your first. Just to, something to consider. Thank you, Robin. Best investment I have ever made. Yes, I'm glad you love your Melco. Cha-ching. <laughs> Michaela, you're funny. Good morning, GGM.
Thank you, Yvonne Martinez, for the $5 coffee donation. Enjoy Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. Cheers. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I hope you're still here. Thank you, decals. Kenya, you have played a huge part in my journey. I have applied all your advice, and instead of me buying a 5K... 350 ounce car. I invested it into this machine. Thank you for sharing all your knowledge. I am glad I was able to help and I'm so proud of you and all you've been able to accomplish in your business. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. Hi, everyone. I just watched your video on your machine and looking to get a multi-needle machine this weekend. And I got my PA hundred just in time last year before the price jump thank god oh my god that is so exciting congratulations on getting a new machine that is so awesome my tongue is numb all my blanks are for embroidery and heat transfer vinyl not sublimation um uh they're not polyester for sublimation but those will be coming in the futuro the future Yes, the blanks work for heat transfer vinyl, HTV, yes. De nada. Yeah, so the ribbon. So we did the ribbon pre-order. And um, it'll start trickling in um, next week. But if, if I have the colors you ordered, they'll go right out. But um, as, the, as the ribbon comes in... Your orders will be going out. Um, they should all be out, hopefully, by, like, April, like, 25th, um, depending on the colors you ordered. And then we'll try to keep it in stock. Head on out. I just want to say I truly enjoy all of your videos. Thank you for sharing your crafting experience with the world. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much, GGM. I'm glad I bought my P800 when I did it. It was $800. I don't think I'd be doing that if, this if I had to buy one now. It's crazy how expensive it is. I want to milk up and I live in an apartment bottom, and I think it would be too loud. What's your opinion? I just want to buy a house within a year. A lot of people own Melcos that live in apartments. A lot of people. You just get a, uh, you know, those little vibrating mats that they, that you like, you know, they have at work if you stand a lot. It was a little mat that absorbs the vibrant, vibrating. You'll be fine. Would you recommend Sizer, Caesar HT, HTV? That's what I used to use. Um, it's good HTV as well. I use uh, Stalls Ultra Weed though now. Bye, Kay. Michelle, are you almost here with my food? I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna turn to a skeleton. I'm hungry. I might just end the live here because I have a one on one in 40 minutes and my tongue is numb from talking so much. Sorry, it froze. Somebody called me from Washington. Um, it will be embroidered vinyl will restock at the end of the month. Donde puedo digitalizar un logo? Um, estás en mi grupo. Si estás en mi grupo de Facebook. Hay muchos digitalizers. Those. <laughs> Hay muchas personas que pueden ayudarte y digitize tu logo. Marianela Montenegro, gracias por todo, Ángela, y que Dios te bendiga a ti y tu familia. Amen. Gracias. Have a good day, everyone. Have to go. Bye, Shirley. I'll be getting off here soon um, to eat food. Just waiting on food, really. Hey, Elaine. Yes, we shipped to the UK. My Blake's business, I just did a lot of research. Took two years to... Uh, to get everything I needed to get done, but... And, it's just a lot of trial and error. 
Hi, chat about cakes. Aloha. Adios, Tina. Hope you feel better. Hola, Gabriela. Embroidery Diva. Bye, Angela. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you and sharing your knowledge and experts in the industry. Bye bye. Have a good day. Well, hopefully, the next time I go live, I'll have a different setup. Um, so it could be, I want a better setup. I want my live to be like cool. So hopefully, the next live, I'll probably be testing it out. So, like, it may be a little wonky for the next live, but I have some new things I want to do for the live. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully eat some food when they bring it soon in a second. But thank you guys all for tuning in. On your way out, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Watch my old videos if you haven't watched them already. Giving all my videos thumbs up truly, truly, truly helps me. So if you watch the video and haven't given a thumbs up, you can do that. I'd appreciate it. But yes. So hey, 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 everybody. And I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Have a great day, everyone. Please be productive. Get some work done. Do your laundry. Do something. Enjoy some food. Watch a movie. Take some time for you. So, yeah, have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.